Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 19536 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And if you've been testing previous builds of Windows 10 and have seen in the videos, you'll notice it's a big jump from the previous numbers, which were 190 range. And that's because this is now jump forward to the next development of Windows 10 because 20H1 is complete or almost complete, feature complete. They're just going through the final testing phases. So we've got this big jump up of builds there. It hasn't got a name at the moment, so we don't know whether it's 21H1 or 20. 20h2 or anything like that microsoft said what they're planning to do with these fast ring builds now is they're just uh, putting the latest bit version of uh, the latest development of windows in these fast ring builds and then features will then get picked to go in the re release version uh, as they go through the testing so it doesn't mean to say that these features that we're testing here in uh, these development builds will make it to the next build of windows 10 it's just they're putting them in while we're doing the testing so it means you should always have the latest development version if you're in the fast ring and if you're in the slow ring you'll have 20H1 and if you're in release preview you'll currently be having 1909. There's not a huge amount of changes because they just forked the development for uh, these builds. So there is one change, a major change. So there are a couple of major changes. The one that I, you would normally see if you had uh, optional update is here it would say view optional updates now in the previous 20h1 builds that was there sometimes and then they took it out for the release version it, what it would show you here was if you had an optional driver update that you would normally go through device manager to do it would show it here and say optional updates so we haven't got any of the machines so it would normally show sort of blue text there so i can't show you because there's none on this virtual machine but uh, there you go, that that's how it would work the other change is they've um, up, updated the Korean IME and there's a new screen which you will not see unless you do a reset. There's a family safety screen so you can kind of say who's using the device, is it the parent or the child. Um, you'll see that if you did a, a, a reset of the installation because there's no ISO available at the moment. Um, so I can't show you that now because I've not got this doing a, a reset but then that's coming and I think that will be um, when the ISO comes out you'll see that as they uh, as they release these builds with a clean install. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor they've done some fixes in there or they included some fixes. Um, Windows to do or Microsoft to do uh, has got a new UI on the if you've just run it for the first time so if you run to do on here and it's the first time you run it you'll see the new UI. I think I've already run this on this build so oh there we go so this is the kind of the the new uh, ui that you'll see when you're starting up the build the uh windows recovery environment no longer requires admin password to get into the recovery tools they fixed uh, an issue with their first character not working in the search box they fixed some task manager issues um, they fixed some uh, typo in the search and uh, settings and they're removing hotspot 2.0 on the Wi-Fi. This was provided while the feature was still in experimental phase and having enabled it as part of Wi-Fi now, it doesn't have its own separate feature. Another change is they fixed um, a rollback. It might show an older build when you've done a rollback. There's still some known issues, as you expect. This is early in the development phase for the next build of Windows 10. The Battle Iron Cheat Software is a bug that's been around right back to... Um, 1903 and that is the it doesn't work if you've got the battle eye anti-cheat software they're looking to report some um, update processes hanging you may remember this from 20h1 and also another from 20h1 is usb3 start code error uh, after you've attached a drive and there's an issue with the documents uh, section under privacy as a broken icon but apart from that, that's all the changes with this build. It's great to see that we're starting on the next development of Windows 10. Let's have a look at actually the Winver to see what the version label looks like. There, we can still see it shows version 2004, which is um, what the current slow ring builds show. Of course, that will change over time. And um, these builds are going to change and include new features all the time, which is great to see. 
So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on our YouTube channel. In fact, you can go back to the very first builds of Windows 10 uh, on our YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter at isdixon or you can see me on the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching and I look forward to the next one.